I mean, in the end, you can do whatever you want, but it should be something meaningful. No? <laughs> I mean, how cool is it to see something that you built or being operated somewhere else and helping people to get their job done? I, I like it to, to yeah, build stuff and, and have something in my hands and, and see how it works. When it comes to technology, we try to like really push it and bring it to a, a super high level. We are eliminating the danger of falling from height or falling from high structures. If it's uh, hard to access, if it's dangerous, we don't need the, the human there, we can fly up. And especially if you operate on um, critical assets, in, like in gas and oil or uh, energy on, or utilities. Drones now are basically cameras in the sky and what we try to do is like really bringing a hand into the sky. Drones generally are really interesting. There are many aspects that you have to consider until a drone flies. The inspection technology, yes, that's available, but it, the problem is the access to these difficult areas. I think uh, technology can help us to, to not risk humans. During my studies, we were trying to develop new technologies that can push the boundaries of what drones can do. Drones generally are quite complex systems. I think the communication between humans and the system or the technology is, is very important. Giving the ability to flying robots to approach and, and perform physical work is a uh, very interesting uh, approach to help asset owners to assess better the conditions of their facilities. How can we use flying robots to, uh, to perform artistic work and uh, artistic paint work on, uh, on complex 3D structures? Uh, the drone was basically uh, a tool to bring it up to, to a wall. Our unique feature that we can be very precise in navigation, very close to structure, um, we could execute artwork on, on, on structures. We could see the drone is not perfect, so it has some, uh, yeah, it has some wobbles and some characteristics which we could see that it was uh, sprayed by the drone. So safety is a very critical aspect of, of the drone industry. Quite a lot of parts have to work together. Usually a drone has to tilt to fly around, right? And we can just tilt the rotors to fly around. It becomes really reliable when it's about uh, interacting with structure. But the more uh, interesting part is how can you protect the inspected data. How to handle this data, these measurements, and how to control them, the drone in the end. And these are, of course, only on board and the drone has not a uh, direct connection to the internet. I mean, technology is a tool, right? And it depends on how you use it. It can help you or can damage other aspects of for, for other people. So it's, it's just a tool and it uh, depends how human intend to use it. It's, uh, it's up to us. For, for me, it should not stop you from, from doing the technology if it has some benefits for the, for the whole society. I think uh, definitely technology can, uh, can help us a lot if we use it in, uh, in the right way and in a responsible way.